What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to another video. In this video I want to show you how to find out the pH of the buffered solution. A buffered solution contains 0.5 molar acetic acid with Ka 1.8 times 10 to the power of negative 5 and 0.5 molar sodium acetate NaC2H3O2. Calculate the pH of this solution. So we have acetic acid in the beginning supposed to dissociate to its ion and on the other hand we have NaC2H3O2 which is going to give you sodium plus acetate this one is two-way because as the acid is a weak acid, we have the Ka here. Since it's weak, it means that it do doesn't dissociate and it remains like that. We can say it's approximately equals to 0.5 molar. So basically we neglect the concentration of these two due to this reaction. So it doesn't proceed significantly. On the other hand, we have Na and acetate here is dissociated completely so since the sodium acetate is 0.5 molar it means that we're gonna have 0.5 molar of sodium and 0.5 molar of acetate Na is coming from in the aqueous solution Na when it reacts with hydroxide is going to give you NaOH. Since NaOH is strong base, it means that the conjugate acid is going to be very, very weak. So that reaction never happens or it's going to be extremely insignificant. So we don't care about this part then. So we're going to have 0.5 molar of acid and 0.5 molar of acetate ion. So for equilibrium, I can say acetic acid plus proton plus C2H3O2 minus. So before equilibrium and after equilibrium, I can have I stable, initial change and equilibrium, you know that. Initially we have 0.5 in here, mole per liter. Let's say approximately zero in here. Why approximately? Because we can say that's going to be 10 to the power of negative 14. It's going to be 10 to the power of negative seven. So we approximately make it equal to zero and 0.5 molar of acetate. For change, we have negative X plus X plus X. So for equilibrium, we're going to have 0.5 minus x plus x, 0.5 plus x. And I can write the dissociation constant Ka, which is 1.8 times 10 to the power of negative 5 equals to x times 0.5 plus x divided by 0.5 minus x. So since x which is related to dissociation is insignificant comparing to 0.5, we can neglect it. So we're gonna say x times 0.5 divided by 0.5, these two cancel out. We can say x will be equals to 1.8 times 10 to the power of negative five, mole per liter. On the other hand, we know the equilibrium Concentration of proton is 1.8 times 10 to the power of negative 5. So we can say pH will be negative log 1.8 times 10 to the power of negative 5. So that will be negative log in bracket 1.8 times 10 to the power of negative 5. That's going to give me 4.74. That's the pH of this solution. 